Hey y'all, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV. You gotta see this, 2011 Tahoe 4x4, 1500 lifted, seven and a half inches, badass wheel, badass tires, let's go! Hey guys, like I said, we got this 2011 Tahoe 1500 4x4. This is one we've been dying to get our hands on and just do a build on it. We got this thing stock last week. What we did with it was seven and a half inch rough country suspension lift. We went with the 20 by 10 negative 19. We'll do our build test here. You can see that's the uh, new hostile sprocket. We got one of the few sets we can get our hands on currently. Super hot wheel, hard to keep on in stock and on the shelf. I would say it's probably got about a three and a half inch lip on it. And then we went with the Toyo Open Country AT2 Extremes. So this one, they really wanted to stick with an all purpose tire that they can really get the miles out of. We're seeing 65, 70,000 miles out of this tire when it's uh, rotated properly and taken care of. So all in all that 35, 12 and a half on that 20 by 10 negative 19 looks extremely badass on the seven and a half inch. But even with that seven and a half inch lip, you'll see we did have to get in there and remove some of this subframe up underneath the bumper. Um, we also had to do some trimming and do some pulling. So we're using tie strap to pull that liner away and then also trim the bottom of that bumper. A little bit of that back here too, we had to get in and not really modify the uh, step board, but the um, bracket that comes down for the step board had to be trimmed. Otherwise this thing was hitting. Even with that seven and a half inch lift, these 35s were hitting really hard, almost pulling that front bumper off and then also smacking into the, the uh, step up back here really hard. But overall, I mean, if you back up, take a look at this thing. We put a 50 inch straight light bar on there with the OLB brackets for this style truck with the new low profile style. We also did the window tint so everything's all matched up and it just turned out super badass. Come on, take a look at this. This is something we've seen other people do as well is we actually took in, um, took the brackets and had them powder coated gloss black since it's a gloss finished truck. It's not very expensive to do that if you go with our OLB brackets and take them and have them powder coated to match the vehicle and it makes a huge difference how it just blends in. So this thing is super awesome. If you take a look down the side of it you can see it's probably got you know I would say three four inches sticking out up front probably two inches in the rear. This is an example where the lift kit is pushing the front wheels out. We tell you about that a lot with the Chevys with Rough Country. We could add spacers in the rear. We'll be talking to the owner, see if they want to push that out a little bit to even that up. We do that all the time, but we got to see if they want to spend the extra money to line that up. Some folks are cool with it as is, but super badass truck. Love the way it turned out. Love the hostile sprockets. Wish we could get our hands on them. Uh, we're hoping in the next few months that they'll start to loosen up and start to be on the market and readily available. But can't say enough about it. Thing turned out super awesome. We can't wait to drive this thing and uh, go see how many looks it gets. Remember, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. Subscribe and you'll get notified when we keep coming out with them. See ya.